Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm back from a bit of a hiatus. Uh, life got in the way and I also wanted to kind of go ahead and recharge my batteries. I'm in the middle of the storage hall here that I was working on in the last. You can see some changes have been made. Now before I cover any of the redstone changes and I haven't really done any real design changes. In my last video I alluded to wanting to move the redstone further away from the player or just eliminate a lot of the ticking noises from the droppers and hoppers. In this particular instance, I've done that. However, that's just for uh, anybody who finds them obnoxious and doesn't feel like using resource packs. Personally, I recommend using the resource packs so that you don't have the menu clicks and things of that nature. I have the game frozen right now. Let's go ahead and unfreeze this. So we'll do the tick freeze. Now I'm going to go into free cam mode, come down here so that you can see right now, we're not hearing anything. I believe they should be moving along just about now to the thing. Yeah, they're coming up. And if I get this close, you can hear it. So personally, I just, I would rather use the resource packs, get that done. And now we don't have any of that obnoxious, annoying noise. And I don't need to move this, you know, 30, 40 blocks away from the player to achieve that end goal. All right, let's move over to the other design. Okay, here we are in the original first rough draft where I had a lot of water streams moving items around. They are coming over here. The shulkers are being loaded up and dumped off in the chest right here. And the non-stackable processing vertically aligned right here. And while the vertically aligned, I did like the concept. It just, it became a, a bit clustered and convoluted with all of the water streams. Didn't much care for it. So I decided to revisit this and redo it. Along the way, I decided to go ahead and add a module that will actually process a moot point of boats, basically. Uh, let me get in here. Where's it at? Excuse me. Sorry. What you, you can see what I have in this. So let's go ahead and put some containers on here. Where's the output? There it is. Right there and there. Uh, we know that boats can be dispensed into water. I have an iron bar in here that will force it to be lift up. It will be broken by the lava and collected by the hopper and put immediately into the dropper right there. And then the other will come out the other. Anything else will go out the other side. And you can see I have swords, helmets, basically, because this will all be non-stackable processing. You've seen the other modules in my previous videos if you've seen them. If not, I will put a link in the description and let you know uh, so you can go check those out. And I went over them kind of one by one. So let's place this here. And you can see the boats are ticking through rather quickly. And well, I don't know why did that do that? It, I, I did not. I was holding shift, so that's probably what happened. So let's goodbye. Nothing but boats there, and all of the swords and helmets, and the minecart there. Okay, moving on. A quick side note here you can see the design. I've kind of just made a copy of it, moved it over, made a copy, moved it over. And on a vanilla paper server, I was only able to get about this far away from the player where you could still actually hear the redstone ticking along. Um, when I tried this version on a paper server, uh, it basically just broke it. I don't know, if there was redstone glitches and issues. It's too far away from the player to be processed properly. That's been my experience. I don't know that that would be the experience all around, but just so you know, heads up. I am going to maintain this smaller, more compact scenario, but I am going to go with the newly redesigned redstone non-stackable flow that I've come up with over here. Now, this is not exactly what I had in mind when I initially put this together. I had them out of order and the boat processing I had before the water bucket processing and because it's dispensing into a water source, it would dispense all of the water buckets. Basically, I was also concerned with the routing and storage of the filled shulkers 
In the previous design, I had them in, down in this lower section you can see across right over there, which meant you would have to actually go down into the bowels to collect them if you wanted them. I have since opted for going ahead and ejecting them into a water stream and taking them up a bubble column all the way up to the main floor and dispensing them in the middle of the main floor. I did not eliminate this storage section here. Uh, none of the filters are currently set and it's here if you need it type of scenario. I have this set up for any overflow of emptied shulkers once the backlog would, uh, I have this set up to check for if it gets up to too full, it'll redirect the flow so that it'll start filling up these chests here if you wanted. I don't have that turned on, I just basically am piping them all the way up to the item elevator to put them up into the main floor where they will land right here where those panes of glass I showed in the beginning of the video will come. Any requested filled shulkers will pop out right here. Everything else remains the same other than a few cosmetic changes, which I'm still, yeah, I, I'm not a designer in, in that regard, but the filled shulkers will actually, once they are ejected, they'll wind up in these in the middle here. They're all tied together. I think it'll start down this line first and go clockwise around and fill them up as it goes. Uh, I'm not too happy, overly fussed about it, but it brings them up to the main floor. Kind of what I was wanting to do. If you do need to get down into the lower sections, I do have some scaffolding set up underneath a couple of these trapdoor. Okay, here we are on a server that I play on and I've actually built this in survival um, it is underground the entirety of the storage design uh, come out here and i have a warehouse type factory scenario yeah don't worry about that but i have access to the lower sections and i did use the design that i wanted to move away from because i hadn't redesigned it yet i was wanting to recharge my batteries and ended up taking a hiatus from gaming altogether after I did this here, before I decided to retackle this scenario and redesign everything as you saw previously in this video, I do have the vertical alignment and all of the storage coming down here and it's not as accessible, unfortunately. So I, I don't think I'm gonna rebuild this on this server. It's become quite inactive. Most of the players don't even get on here anymore. So I'm kind of by myself and alone anyway no big deal i'll just build it again somewhere else but i'm going to go with a different design let's get back to the other world okay here we are back in the creative world i i'm not going to take the time in this video to go over the processing and how everything is done i did that in prior videos i recommend you check those out i gloss over a good a great detail of what's going on i'm uh, not overly technical in regard to how everything is done. I'll give you a bird's eye view of all of this here. I'm going to maybe shuffle this up a little bit, but I doubt it. I'm going to keep it pretty much at least in the order of processing as it's going. This right here is the boats, and it was over here next to the potions, bottles, and the shears. And then I had the bottle. Uh, water buckets over here and they were all kind of on the same horizontal line. I had to move that up and out of the way to move this over to get it past it and redirect the flow of items. And that's how that wound up being like that. I redid the input. I just have some hopper mine carts inside of sand to kind of help collect items. I do believe that as many as three people with full pockets of inventory could dump everything off and it could handle it just fine. I did put the item gate from Rapscallion's uh, multi-item sorter designs. I think 4.2 and above should have it maybe. I, I don't recall, but it is right here. And this is right prior to going into the armor separation to slow the items down so that it doesn't bottleneck this and break it. And I have one more thing out here. I have a schematic loaded let's see here let's turn it on i had considered adding this i found this from ray's works a video more than a year and a half two years ago i believe somewhere about and this will allow me to actually separate independent pieces of armor so 
if I want just leggings to wind up in a shulker box, helmets, you get the idea. It is contingent on having mops. There's an iron golem involved and a skeleton needs to be trapped. I don't know that I want to do that for a storage hall design. I may try to incorporate that. If you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments down below. If you would like a copy of this world or schematics related to these, let me know in the comments down below. I'm not going to give them away until I get at minimum 20 likes on the video. As I mentioned in the descriptions of the previous two videos regarding my storage hall designs. So if you feel like it, go ahead and check those out. Drop a like if you like it. That's going to be all for this video and we will see you in the next one.